Hello everyone. Welcome to the Power Pages Quick Tip series. I'm Ambeer Singh today with Myers who is joining me after his long break where he was enjoying the skiing somewhere in the Alps. And in episode 7 we are going to talk about the hierarchical data permission in the Power Pages. Access to the data was record is automatically restricted in the Power Pages when using the form, list, liquid, the portal web APIs and the other component accessing data was table. To allow access the data was records in the Power Pages sites, you, ne you will need to configure table permission and associate the table permission to the web roles. You can create the table permission by using the three common methods. So the first one when configure a list or a form on the page. The second one is from uh, you know the setup workspace. The third one with the portal management app. Now the design studio shows four different access types. Depending on the access type you have chosen, uh, the selected table permission and the privileges apply to the users from the selected roles for the following probably records. So the one is the global access, so which applied the selected table permission and the privileges to the user from the selected role for all the records. The second one is the contact access, which applied the selected table permission and the privileges to the user from the selected role associated to the signed in or the logged in user. The third one is the account access, and this applies the selected table permissions and the privileges to the user from the selected role associated to the logged in user's account. And the last one here is the self access, which applies the selected table permission and the privileges to the user from the selected role for only their own contact record. Also, please note the parent access type is only available in the portal management app. Instead of creating a table permission with the access type of parent when using the design studio directly, add the child permission to the existing table permissions. So how to view it? Uh, so now, you know, we could have a common question that how to view the table permission. So firstly, we have to go to the design studio and from the site menu, select the setup and on the left pane in the security section, there you have to select the table permission and then you can view the whole you know whole table permission and the view look like uh, the screenshot you see on the slide now i think i should ask uh, myers to go through with this slide so yeah over to you myers yeah um thanks ambesh already mentioned uh, those four access types with global is really everything and self access is only the contact but in the middle there are the contact and account access which um, require the records to be linked uh, through a relationship to the contact or the parent customer of the the contact and those links do not have to be direct so you can have indirect links which we will see soon um, and we can e leverage those indirect links with child permissions and um, with the notes feature which we will see on the next slide uh, we will have to use this uh, hierarchical features because um, when you enable the uh, file submission uh, the the files are attached as notes and notes are then attached to the record you're just creating so in the demo we will see soon we uh, will create a lead and therefore the notes are attached to the lead and not to the contact and um, therefore we can't um, yeah, we, we can't have a direct link there to the user, and this is what we will solve with hierarchies. Um, in terms of file integration, you can also use SharePoint, but we will skip this for this video and make a separate video about it. So on the next slide, I think, we are already into the demo, so I will take over the sharing. So for the demo, I have prepared a lead form. Um, it has in total three tabs, but we will only use the first two. So we have an input tab. And notice here this input tab has nothing about files. It's only fields. So where is the files actually coming from that we already see in the what you see is what you get uh, view here it's with edit form you have the uh, attachments 
and there you can enable attachments. And I've also selected that multiple files are allowed. You can also enable this from the Power Pages Management app. So often the, uh, the, the management app is a little bit more powerful than the Design Studio, but obviously also more cumbersome to use. So if I select here the form and then go to additional settings, and then somewhere down here is add attach file where, where similar things are uh, here. And here you can see that this wouldn't be the only option you could also do with, with portal comments, but that is more of a niche feature if you have like uh, forums and, and things like this. So um, what else do we need? Um, so we have configured this, but the user does not have yet have permissions. So to use this, let's go to table permissions. Obviously for the form, we have set up a lead create permission to, to create the lead. And now we also need the append to permission. Uh, I've also selected here anonymous and authenticated. And then you can go here with add child permission. Um, then you create a second one. And on this child permission, I have to select a relationship, which is the annotation relationship. And here I want the user to be able to create um, an attachment or an annotation and append to set the lead in the lookup. I don't need to set roles here because they are inherited by the parent. So let's take a look at what this looks like in our power page. So I will go this time with Ambesh's name because mine is already taken in case something goes wrong here. Um, so now I can select an image. So we will use the Austria image right here. Um, oh, by the way, also let's not only use this one, let's use two things because we can select multiple files here and then we can submit. You'll notice that in contrast to what happens in Dataverse with the timeline, when you want to attach a file in Dataverse, you first need to create the record and then attach the files through the timeline because you need the GUID of the record to link to the um, correct record. And this is not the case here. This is handled by the uh, by by the power page. So let's refresh here and then we can see Ambesh's record and in the timeline, as soon as it is loaded, we can see the two files. So, and yeah, I mean, what do we expect? It, it's, it's files here. Um, and we can see that the portal adds some notes here, which contact uploaded this and when. But um, so far, so good. Let's. So that was file integration by the basics. But it's not the whole power of the uh, hierarchical um, permissions. And I've also only set here create and those append permissions. Let's take a closer look at what you can do with uh, the read permissions and the different access types. So I've created here a permission for contact access. So the current contact and the, um, the, the parent customer and the, the account to read it. So let's switch over to the system again. I will select my user. That's the, we will discuss that in a minute. And um, so I've allowed my Marius Wodke uh, portal user to read the account a datum corporation. The next thing is a child permission, which allows based on the same relationship, basically to read all the contacts. So from this account, let's go to contacts. I can read the Marius Wodke contact and the tester test contact. Go to the leads on those contacts. 
So by parent contact of the lead and further down to their nodes. And this obviously, this whole thing only works for authenticated users, for an anonymous user, you can't have the contact access because you don't have a contact. Let's take a quick look at the leads again. Oh, we have it already here. This one I've created by hand, not via the, the power page. Um, but I've linked an existing contact, test the test to it. So in theory, the user can read this. And I've also attached here a file. So an, an annotation, and this is created by the system administrator. So it's created from Dataverse and not by the power page. And in the review uh, section here, I've set up a, a simple list with all the leads. And you can see here that the test, uh, test lead can be viewed. And it's also loading the file right here. So it, it does work on multiple levels. You should, of course, take a look at, okay, not make it too deep. Because it, let's say you have eight different levels of um, or in a hierarchy, the, the Power Page has to evaluate those levels. And if it tries to compile the list of all the records you can read, it has to do all this. And suddenly the Power Page, which does not have much on it, but the, the, the list performs really bad because it takes so much time to, to go through all the records and determine, can you read it? On this one, I want to show you one more thing, which is on this record I've um, I've prepared, you see two files, the AT one and, and uh, another one, Teams Virtual Background. If we take a look at the lead in the in Dynamics, it looks a little bit different because here actually there are three files. There's a third file linked in. And you don't see that in the Power Pages timeline. Um, so, and this happens, or this happens because um, this star web star needs to be in the description of the node for it to show in Power Pages. So, if you create an, an annotation from Power Pages, it adds that automatically. But a user who wants to show the file to the Power Pages user would have to set this here. Um, in the notes description and with the LinkedIn file, it's not done and therefore the user doesn't see it. That's also a, a nice feature, I guess, because you can still hide uh, files from the user. Basically, every file is hidden by default um, that you create that your agents maybe create in the system. And maybe we need to discuss this one as well with the experience so in um in the form you just saw on the power page there is of course this timeline included and this timeline of course needs to include the nodes um as a setting um yeah to show it in the form okay I think we have covered everything around. Oh, no, 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 we have not covered everything. <laughs> I've uh, talked about, OK, don't make hierarchies too deep. So we need to talk about that. And there's one thing here. What I've set up here, I go with context access, and then I go up one level to the account to then go down several level uh, levels um, down again. Um, I could have just said, uh, go with account access. So I could have cut this level out of the hierarchy if I just not made this um, as a, oh, let, let's, let's create this table permission. That's, it shouldn't be that hard. So we need contacts, any name, and we do it via account access directly and then we can select the um, customer accounts. So the account access is really, this gives you this first level up is 
auto configured by this account access so you don't need to go with a with a hierarchy level for it will probably make uh, the site perform a little better and if you're finding yourself with very deep hierarchies here so yeah let's say four levels plus um consider can't you somewhere in the middle of the hierarchy really link the account or the uh, contact directly to the record and then you can go with account access or contact access um, to to just trim it down and make your power page perform better so now i'm finally done with the demo Ambesh, take it away thank you thank you so much myers um yeah really interesting demo and um now to the audience, please stay tuned to this channel by subscribing and pressing the bell icon. Share the videos with your friends and the colleagues who are having the same skill sets like you or want to deep dive in their power pages. You know, we will be coming up with more interesting tips, knowledge sharing and the lesson learning around the power pages. So also please um, aware about or the keep keep your eyes into the description of the video so we you know, you are always up to date with the latest information because we make up videos a lot onto the preview features. So if something is being changed there, we will go and update um, the description sections of the video. Till that, have a nice time and a happy learning. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.